Hi everyone, I'm Susan Jacob and in this video I'm going to share some tips on CTR implantation. I do have a patent pending for modified versions of the glued capsula hook which I show later on in the video. For this teaching presentation I have borrowed some trainee surgeon videos just to show how certain complications can be avoided. In this first case, multiple attempts are being made at implanting the CTR and if you look carefully you'll notice that it is being implanted in the direction opposite to the zone of dialysis which means that the CTR is actually pushing the entire uh, capsule and the cataractus lens away and it's actually increasing the zone of dialysis obviously the person is not thinking right now and uh, the attempt is going on being made again and again with no apparent beneficial effect since the capsular tension ring was beginning to look more and more like a ring of horror, it was finally abandoned and the lens was removed using a Victus. Now here's a second example where the same mistake is being repeated that is the CTR is being pushed away from the zone load dialysis. So here's my pearl one. Always implant the leading edge of the CTR towards the area of zonulodialysis that is towards the clear red reflex to prevent the subluxation from extending. Here's another situation where a CTR is being implanted, however the pupil is small, some viscoelastic has been installed in an attempt to dilate the pupil, but visibility is still bad. Now here is a, a technique that I find many people adopting, which is to use a Sinsky hook uh, to engage the dialing hole of the CTR and try to implant it in this way. But you can see that this is quite unpredictable, as seen in this case, the first time it landed above the iris, it's uh, difficult to release it from the Sinsky hook sometimes. And even when you do know that it's gone under the iris, you're not sure whether it's gone over the sulcus or into the back. In this case, after dilating the pupil, it's uh, seen very clearly that it was accidentally released over the sulcus. So here's pearl number two. Get yourself a good view before uh, putting the CTR in, if necessary, by using pupil expanders. Do not use a Sinsky hook for dialing the uh, CTR in. Instead, use micro forceps and uh, a messy situation like this can be avoided. So this is my pearl number three, that is to use micro forceps, which gives you a much more controlled uh, technique to implant the CTR. Here again, a Sinsky hook is being used and you can see that it's gone and again ended in an uncontrolled manner. And at this time, it's gone uh, over the sulcus. And on the other hand, you can see here a handshake technique using two micro forceps being used to accurately guide the CTR into the back. So pearl number four is exactly that. Release the CTR using micro forceps and the handshake technique if required into the back. Now here's a case with a sudden extension of the zonulodiasis during IA. The CTR obviously should have been implanted earlier. Pearl 5 is therefore a quote by Ken Rosenthal which is probably the most often repeated ophthalmic quote of all times which is implant the CTR as late as you can but also remember as early as you must. Now here's another case where you can see that the very act of attempting to implant the capsular tension ring into the back results in loss of the final few zonules which are holding the subluxated cataract in place. And you can also see the same thing repeating in this case where uh, the subluxation just dramatically increases. And that's my pearl number six. Get your back, make sure you're holding the capsular back supported with capsular hooks which makes it much more easy to implant the capsular tension ring into the back even in large subluxations without ending up in extending the area of zonulodialysis. The capsule hooks of course give you the additional advantage of giving you horizontal support throughout the surgery. Pearl 7, hang on there, make sure that in large subluxations uh, you also have an element of skeletal fixation either in the form of uh, sutured uh, segments or rings or uh, as my technique of uh, glued capsule hook which we also published in JCRS where the capsule hook is passed trans clearly below the iris but above the anterior capsule uh, to hook onto the rexus rim and then give you horizontal support both in the intraoperative as well as the post-operative period. This is a modification of the capsula hook technique and is a device which I have manufactured in collaboration with Mocher and uh, this kind of clips onto the edge of the capsular rim and uh, gives you sutureless transcleal fixation of the capsula bag. It gives you horizontal support. A CTR can then be safely implanted for phonicial support and the glued capsula hook continues to give intraoperative as well as postoperative support and centration to the capsula bag. So knowing how to implant a CTR can turn the ring of horror into a beautiful ring as long as you follow the pearls to just repeat the pearls once more. Always uh, direct the implant towards the zone of dialysis. Use pupil expanders when required. Say no to implantation by Sinsky hook. Say yes to the use of micro forceps for implantation. Make sure that both the leading end and the trailing end of the CTR are released into the bag. Implant as late as you can but also remember as early as you must. Use capsular hook supports for uh, larger subluxations. 
in larger subluxations fixation of the capsular bag to the sclera is important either via sutured scleral fixation or via my technique of glued capsular hook that allows sutureless transcleral fixation of the capsular bag i do hope this video will be helpful and the pearls will be helpful for you in your future endeavors to implant the capsular tension ring thank you so much